When you think of hover cars, you probably think of this, or this, or now this. But did you know the concept of a hovering vehicle was actually a reality in the 1950s? In 1959, Curtis Wright developed the Model 2500 Air Car GEM or Ground Effects Machine, with the concept dating back to 1930. The prototype nicknamed the Hippo was equipped with an 85 horsepower Continental engine, allowing it to lift several inches off the ground, as well being able to steer, brake, and turn on its own axes. Though this was certainly a giant leap forward in vehicle innovation, a hover car could only reach top speeds of around 38 miles per hour. It was also incredibly bulky for a two-seated vehicle measuring at 8 feet wide, 5 feet tall, and 21 feet long. And to top it off, it was much too noisy for urban driving. The ATRC, or Army Transportation Research Command, acquired two Model 2500 air cars in hopes of developing them into vehicles for the military. Ultimately, this idea was scrapped in 1961 due to its lack of all-terrain capability and apparently a lack of commercial interest as well. But just look at this concept art. While this was going on, Ford was also developing a hover car of their own, the Levicar Mach 1, named after the level of speed yet to be achieved by vehicles at the time. Ambitious. Developed by Andrew Kutcher, Kutcher? And David J, along with the lead designer Gail Holderman, the Levicar was originally intended to allow high speed travel from city to city. A compact single-seater that levitated using pressurized air through things called leva pads, With three jets providing lift and one jet to provide forward momentum, the leva car would hover about an eighth of an inch off the ground. Sadly, the leva car never really took flight, <sighs> failing to get past the conceptual phase. It was demonstrated, however, at an exhibition to much enthusiasm. Levicar was never produced commercially, with the original model said to have been destroyed in a fire in 1962. With such great innovations happening during the mid-century era, it's a wonder why these concepts weren't further developed. I'm still holding out hope for the Leva scooter though. 